what my father cannot do does not exist i am the woman god has shown mercy i am tina i'm making this ready recording this video testimony from abuja nigeria good morning pastor jerry i have come to give thanks to god i've come to tell the whole world what god has done for me and my family i joined this fire altar in 2020 during the lockdown through facebook and since then i have remained on the altar i got married in december 2008 and since then i have been trusting god for the fruit of the womb it has been a very turbulent journey it has been from one negative medical diagnosis to the other it has been from one theater to the other from one city to the other back to back surgeries i've had up to 12 gynecological surgeries all came out still negative bad news negative reports i've had ivf three times and it's all failed so at the time when i joined nsppd that was when i had a break i took a break that let me take a break that was when I, it was at that point i joined nsppd in 2020 so i knew this was my last bus stop with all the noise i knew mm, this is the place so i have to remain here on the altar i hear testimony mind-blowing testimony i said god when is my own when are you going to give me my own children when are you going to bless me I kept on praying 2020 ended there was no baby no pregnancy 2021 came 2021 ended there was no pregnancy then i became more intentional about my approach in the fire altar i paid more attention to every details every instructions from the altar as so jerry said download pictures i download pictures of the baby boy and pictures of baby girl i placed by my device i joined the prayer in the morning by night i'm doing a replay of it I became a monthly partner in the streams of joy. So it's a fast, I'll fast, so share, I'll share. And that was it. That was it. That was it. Then I made a prayer. I prayed. I made a demand on God that every word from the mouth of your servant, Pastor Jerry, every word that I mean that he says, that he prayed, declaration that is related to me must come to pass. And that was it. By January 7th, 2022, during the family remembrance service, Pastor Jerry said, beginning, we just started. He just said, the wait is over. The wait is over. I said, amen, amen, amen. Then he now declared and said, I don't know who you are, but you have had IVF 13 times. If you are the woman, put it on the live stream. According to the time of life, carry your babies. I shouted, Amen. I don't know who you are, but I say the Lord, uh, you have had IVF uh, 13 times, uh, 13 times, uh, but no result, uh, no evidence. Uh, I can't tell about what IVF could not deliver to you. What IVF could not deliver to you. According to the time of life, from now. Although I've not had IVF 13 times, but according to the to the time of life, from the mouth of your servant, I will carry my babies. Because he said babies, not one. Babies, and I have been trusting God for twins, a boy and a girl. I said, Amy, I quickly typed it on the on the fire out on the on, on my live on the live stream. And I said, I will carry my babies. And boom! It came to pass. Pregnancy came. And it was a smooth journey. And in December. 2022 according to the time of life declared by the mouth by the by the servant of god pastor jerry hmm, i brought my baby my bundles of joy came forth my bundles of joy my twin babies boy and a girl after 14 years of trusting god for the foot of the womb, i have come to give this god all the thanks, all the glory for rolling away my shame, for rolling away my reproach, for changing my name from Auntie to Mama Twins, for wiping away my tears. Pastor Jerry, may God bless you and increase your anointing 
Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I love you all. Praise God.